and I was kind of an oddball out because I grew up an East Coast rap fan. What? So I really didn't, I, I really didn't um, listen to a lot of, I would say, to a lot of Southern rap at that time. Who was you listening to in East Coast? Well, you know, I, I grew up a diehard Rock Kim fan. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Think about the music and the way that that, that movement went during the time that, was it, were you guys, did y'all tour at that time or was it just y'all were making music and, and just staying, you know, in the inner city? Or how well, did it when, go? Once I got with once them. Once you got with them. Well, them. when I got with them, they was right on the verge of taking off. Taking off, right? okay. So it was, it was great at that time. You know, tours were... I mean, people were calling from everywhere. Everywhere and, trying to get you guys. Yeah, we couldn't we couldn't get enough um, tours. We, we we probably could have did. We we probably could have turned down some tours. Some tours. There was so, there was so many calls for that at that time, and um, it was it was something um, it was something to see, man. It was it was something big, and I was kind of an oddball out because I grew up a East Coast rap fan. What? So I really didn't. I, I really didn't um, listen to a lot of. I would say, to a lot of Southern rap at that time. Who was you listening to in the East Coast? Well, you know, I, I grew up a diehard Rock Kim fan. That's me, so, man. I like so that you know, what that's I mean? a bad and, dude right there. And 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 when you when you grow up a fan of the God, it's kind of it's kind of hard to. It's almost like when you're a 12th grade, it's kind of hard to sit in a sixth grade classroom, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, because you know? they lyrical, and I, you know, and, and 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 that's not to say that's not to say about the market. I was just saying certain artists, it was kind of hard for me to um, just get into if you didn't really have any complexity, because I was attracted to complex stuff. I, I really wasn't into simplicity, and when I decided. To make the move to get with No Limit, it was f because I felt I would stick out like a sore thumb. Okay, I get you it. You see what I mean? I get it. Because I I needed that something that separated me from anything else, not just on No Limit, but down south in general. And um, that was one of the major factors. Like wow. a lot of my friends who grew up like me, are fans of certain type of artists, they were like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. Because <laughs> if I go on the East Coast and sign with one of those labels, I'll just fall in the That's array right. of artists out there. And, you know, here... I will be the only one that sounds, sounds like, like you this. Sound. And that's what I want. So you perfected that sound. Don't know if I perfected it, but <laughs> I worked on perfecting it. There you go. A double murder's what I got to explain to God. With no holes balled, it's hard. My mind is forever.